sorry if I yell too much, but thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. Hit the like button. Let's get this video to 100 likes or more. It'll help the channel to grow. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. Congratulations to the Miami Hurricanes. You beat Virginia Tech by one point. By one point. Liberty beat them by three. I'm glad we won. I'm glad we won. I might sound a little bit agitated right now. That's because I am. That's because I am. We shouldn't have been two times in the fourth quarter, two times in those last two drives for Miami, not for Virginia Tech, for Miami. The first drive we come out and the first play we call is a pass. When we should be trying to run the clock out, should be trying to run the ball up their throat. We can't get a first down? We can't get a first down? How much does a first down cost? How much money is a first down so I could buy one? How much? Now we got to win, like I said, seven and we seven and one. I expected us to be seven and one. I expected us to beat Virginia Tech a little bit better than we did. One point. <laughs> it, it, I mean, seven or more, I would have been. All I'm saying is Miami, defensive wise, over the middle. Over the middle. If you watch the game today, you see over the middle is always exposed. It's always exposed. Our offensive line, y'all got to start blocking. De'Ari King was getting ate up today. He was getting ate up. Wide receivers, I can't put much blame on y'all. I can't put much blame on y'all. Some passes were overthrown, and some passes never even got to be thrown anyway because King was under a lot of fire. It is what it is. Defense, man, like I said before, we need sacks. We need sacks. We need pressure on the quarterback. And um, Couch, congratulations on that interception. That should have been the game winner. Unfortunately, we didn't do nothing after it. Now, we should have had another interception, but, you know, unfortunately that one was dropped. It is what it is. Miami defense stood up in the fourth quarter again. Again and again and again. The defense is winning it in the end. But why can't we come out with that same energy the entire game? That's what I'm expecting in the entire game. Hooker, their quarterback, was tremendous. He ran the ball almost at will. He picked up yards every time he run. He, he, he did his thing. We contained him for the most part, but it is what it is. He did pick up a uh, rushing touchdown on Miami. It is what it is. But we got the win 25 to 24 in the end. I'm glad we won. So nobody get in this comment section telling me, hey, man, a win's a win. Look, we're in the top 10. We're in the top 10. So that means beating teams, close games like this, especially when they just lost to a high school team last week, does not look good for us. It does not. I see Indiana's beating the brakes off somebody right now. We're number nine. They're number 10. We getting close wins like this. Guess what's going to happen? They're going to jump us. They're going to jump us. A lot of us, we, we looking forward to the ACC championship. We're looking for scenarios to put Miami in the ACC championship. Do you think playing like this today, Miami will win an ACC championship, challenge Clemson or Notre Dame? Do y'all think so? You let me know. Because at this moment, I don't. I'm glad we got the win. I'm just not happy about how we got it and how we played. Too much inconsistencies. Stats and breakdown video coming.